ready to show up and show out. Fellas, put your so my creative process. Um, when it comes to music, I, I basically operate off of what I feel, um, what's on the inside. Um, dealing with things that, you know, um, the joy, the pain, um, the laughter, the life experiences um, that I that I encountered, you know. Um, been doing this for a long time and been through a lot of things, both good and bad, you know, and I just channel it through my music. Um, use it as a tool um, to encourage and uplift, um, you know, my listening audience. You know, I, the main thing is I try to focus on just uplifting them, making them laugh. Life is about fun, you know, living it, loving it. So I try to, you know, in my creative process, bring that out through through my music. What inspired my upcoming gospel album? Um, it's tr just the whole traditional roots um, of the music. Um, I came through um, an era where, you know, the music was in the process of, of a change, and I think I contributed, you know, to the change, um, the new wave of gospel music. And as time went by, I just saw that people was totally forgetting about the roots of it. So basically, I wanted to go back and just grind, grind, you know, to the roots of it and, and make it fun, like, you know. And that's what we did. We basically came in here and had a good time. I think we cut this album in five hours, a total five out five hours. Um, that's video and audio, you know. So just wanted to make sure that the roots stay alive so the branches can keep growing. What makes this gospel album unique is um, it's traditional stuff. It's old traditional stuff. Um, but we're young guys that's doing it. Uh, and we was able to um, emulate the old sound, create the old church feel, um, and just give it to you raw. It's, it's, it's very raw, you know, very raw, just like the old church. And the uniqueness about it right now is most people are overproducing or over polishing, you know, their album. So we just went back to the roots on this one. My favorite song off of the um, new gospel album, um, I'm thinking it's gonna be this whole building keeps on leaning. I've got to move to a better home. And um, that's an old song that we used to hear um, and sing and play in church. Um, and just to be able to go back and reminisce on doing it when I was seven, eight years old at the old church um, up until now, you know, giving it that same feel. Um, but, you know, bringing it up to date just a little bit, um, this old building keeps on leaning. I got to move to a better home. How do I feel um, to be getting my own sculpture um, in my hometown? It's like mind blowing. I, I grew up in Pike County, you know, from a child up to now, I'm still there. And to be able to, um, Get a sculpture downtown Macomb um, of me in um, in memories of what I've done, what I'm doing, and I'm still in good shape, you know, um, good health um, to see it. My kids can see it. I can go by and enjoy it. That's just mind blowing. A lot of times things like that happen to artists, um, you know, once they passed away, you know, and the artists never get a chance to embrace such a monumental um, piece. And I'm just grateful that I'm able to ride by there every day. I have to pass through, I'm gonna have to pass through there every day anyway, so I can pass through there and just look to my left and and see myself downtown Macomb. You know, I'm grateful for that. Um, how does it feel to be nominated for a Grammy? Uh, that's like really mind blowing. Um, I was talking the other day. Um, so like every musician, every singer, every producer, anybody that's dealing with, with music period, 
on any level, that's just like one dream of theirs to make it to that plateau of being recognized with the Grammys. Um, it's mind blowing. It's overwhelming. Um, it's 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 surreal right now. Um, that you know we are nominated um, twice, <laughs> to be exact. You know, twice um, in the same year. Um, I'm tickled pink, man. I'm tickled pink. I'm tickled blue. <laughs> you know, it was unexpected. Um, as like we didn't do no campaigning or anything. You know, just the strength of the music, um, the longevity of of, of the consi um, consistency of putting things out um, brought us here today. And hey, <laughs> I'm tickled. What inspired the soul side of SIP? Um, it's basically something that was, has always been in me. There's different sides of me. There's the gospel side, there's the traditional blues side, there's the rocking side, there's the soul side. Um, basically on all of my um, traditional, well, even some of my gospel stuff had a soul feel. Um, all of my blues albums, you know, I always put some soul songs on there, so it's pretty much a strategic um, climax for you know this season is to prep the people, prep you know all of my fans, my listeners, you know to get ready for what was coming, and here we are with the soul side of sip. You know, it's just a collaboration of things that I felt, um, issues that I wanted to talk about, life stories that I wanted to talk about, and we strung it out for. 10 years and now here we are with the soul side of sip um so what makes the soul side of sip different from my other albums um i'm doing more singing less guitar playing um, the stories are more in depth um than the other albums um there, there, there are a lot of grooves on this album. Um, a lot of the stories are about me, and the other ones are about, you know, friends of mine, or acquaintances of mine. So uh, it's just a real soulful, real life, real time album, you know, straight from the heart. Wow, so my favorite song on the Soul Side of Ship. It's gonna have to be played yourself. Uh, you know, everybody um, in life has experienced um, a situation like the song "Play Yourself." Um, I have so many great, it's so many great songs on the album. So many that I like. I think "Play Yourself" will, 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 will chime in at number one. Um, the advice that I would give another artist um, that wanted to follow into my footsteps is to always believe in yourself. Uh, believe in what you have to present. Uh, don't stand down. Uh, don't waver because what's given to you uh, from the Almighty um, is given to you to, pre um, to be presented. And just follow your heart, follow your mind, be dedicated. Um, be, de be dedicated to the grind. The grind is real. Um, and just put the time in. You put the time in, you stay focused, and you believe in yourself. Don't let anyone um, tell you what's good, what's not good, uh, what can be and what can't be. I'm a living witness that everything that's happening with me right now was told to me that it couldn't be. And here we are today in a great space in life. So I was told by my grandfather if it's been done once, it can be done again. Um, that's my advice to you. If I could choose an artist to collaborate with, uh, be it be gospel, blues, or soul, um, let's just say gospel first. Um, I'd love to collaborate with... Um, some of the living legends um, that's still living now, like your Melvin and Doug Williams, your Harvey Watkins, your um, Huey Williams of the Jackson Southern Airs, um, 
your Doc McKenzie's, um, guys from that standpoint. Um, blues, um, if I had to collaborate with somebody, um, there's two on my bucket list, which are my two good friends, and I feel it coming. Well, it's three, um, that, and I feel it coming. One is Shamika Copeland. Um, the other one is Kingfish, and the other one is Eric Gales. Um, that was just like, that'll do it for me. You know, like that would really like, ow. <laughs> do, it'll, it'll do it for me. Um, on the soul side, um, LJ Eccles, um, King George, and uh, my hometown buddy, Arthur Young. Um, and I just do believe that that collaboration will happen real soon. So, yeah. Um, what's next? Um, we have a very strong tour coming. Um, for 2024, um, Romania, Scotland, um, Canada, um, Sweden, um, and so many other shows in the States. Uh, some of them I can't name now because they haven't been announced, but we have a pretty hectic tour coming up for 2024. I um, haven't named the tour yet, but, uh, Y'all stay tuned. It's coming. You know, you can follow us on uh, MrSip.net, uh, Instagram as MrSip underscore TMBC, uh, Facebook, uh, MrSip, the Mississippi Blues Child, or join the fan page, the official Mr. Sip fan house. Listen, we got a lot of great things coming, new music coming, uh, both gospel, traditional blues, and soul. Listen. Living life on top. I'm spreading love. Keeping it real. Keeping it 100. It's not the electric slide, no. It's not the cue.